In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the 7447 BCD to 7 segment display encoder chip, which will allow you to display the decimal equivalent of your binary input onto the 7 segment display. Here are the materials that I will be using. You'll need a breadboard, jumper wires, the 7447 chip, the 5611 BH common anode 7 segment display, a 4 bit dip switch, 4 1K ohm resistor, 7 470 ohm resistor, and finally a 6 volt power supply. We'll start by placing the switch, the 7447 chip, and the 7 segment display onto the breadboard. The switch has a total of 8 pins, numbered 1 through 8 as follows. We'll start by connecting pins 1 through 4 all to power. Pins 5 through 8 will then be connected to ground using the 1K ohm resistors. The 7447 chip has a total of 16 pins numbered 1 through 16 as follows. We'll connect pin 16 to power and pin 8 to ground. Then we'll connect pins 3, 4, and 5 all to power. The 7 segment display has a total of 10 pins, numbered 1 through 10 as follows. From the pinout diagram, we can see that our common anodes are pins 3 and 8, so we will connect those two pins to power. We will now connect the output of our switch to the 7447 chip. We'll start with the lowest significant bit, which is pin 5 of the switch, which we will connect to pin 7 of the chip. Pin 6 of the switch will connect to pin 1. Pin 7 will be connected to pin 2. And pin 8 will be connected to pin 6. Next, we will connect the 7447 chip to the 7 segment display. Note that all of these connections will have their own 470 ohm current limiting resistors. We'll start by connecting pin 15 of the chip to pin 9 of the display. Pin 14 will be connected to pin 10 of the display. Pin 13 will be connected to pin 7. Pin 12 will be connected to pin 6. Pin 11 goes to pin 4. Pin 10 goes to pin 2. And finally, pin 9 goes to pin 1. You can then join the two power and ground rails together and plug in your power supply. If you did all of your connections correctly, your final result should then look like this. Well that concludes this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below.